ever wondered about the miraculous journey from fertilization to childbirth? It all starts with a single remarkable event, fertilization. This is when a sperm cell, one of millions, achieves the extraordinary feat of penetrating an egg. It's no small task, considering the egg is surrounded by a protective layer. But once a single sperm cell successfully breaks through, it merges with the egg, sharing its genetic material. This union forms a new cell, known as a zygote. The zygote carries the combined genetic blueprint from both parents, holding the potential for a unique individual. It's here, at this moment of fertilization, that a new life's journey truly begins. This is the first crucial step in the intricate dance of development that will, over the course of around 40 weeks, lead to the birth of a child. And so, the incredible journey from a single cell to a new life begins. After fertilization, what happens next, you might ask? Well, it's a fascinating process called early cell division. This is where our zygote, the single cell formed by the union of an egg and sperm, begins its incredible journey. It starts to divide again and again, each division creating more cells. Imagine a microscopic bundle of potential doubling and redoubling, transforming from a single cell into two, then four, then eight, and so on. This process is rapid, with each division happening approximately every 20 hours. As these divisions continue, something remarkable happens. The cells begin to form a structure called a blastocyst. This is a small ball of cells, no bigger than a grain of sand, but it is a critical stage in development. It's here that the cells begin to specialize, preparing for the many roles they will play in the creation of a new life. This tiny bundle of cells, the blastocyst, is now ready for the next critical step. The blastocyst is on the move, but where is it going? Let's find out. After an exciting journey down the fallopian tube, the blastocyst arrives at its new home, the uterus. Here it burrows into the uterine lining in a process known as implantation. This crucial step establishes the initial connection between the developing embryo and the mother's body. But that's just the beginning. Now the blastocyst undergoes a transformation. It differentiates into three germ layers, the ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. Each of these layers plays a key role in the embryo's development. The ectoderm will give rise to structures like the skin and nervous system. The mesoderm forms the muscles, bones, and cardiovascular system. The endoderm develops into the digestive tract and respiratory system. This division of labor sets the stage for the development of the various tissues and organs. With the foundation laid, it's time for the real construction work to begin. As our tiny embryo grows, it needs a life support system. But how is it created? As the embryo continues to develop, it requires a source of nourishment and protection. This is where the placenta and the amniotic sac come into play. The placenta is a unique organ that forms only during pregnancy. Its creation begins with a part of the blastocyst called the trophoblast. This layer of cells starts to dig into the wall of the uterus, establishing a connection between the mother's blood supply and the embryo. The placenta acts as a lifeline, delivering oxygen and nutrients to the growing baby, while also filtering out waste products. Simultaneously, another vital structure forms, the amniotic sac. This fluid-filled sac acts like a cushion, protecting the embryo from physical shocks and maintaining a constant temperature. So you see the placenta and the amniotic sac together form the life support system for the embryo, ensuring it gets everything it needs for proper growth and development. With this life support in place, our embryo is ready for the next phase of development. Our embryo is now ready to undergo significant growth and development. But how does it happen? This journey from embryonic development to the fetal stage is an incredible transformation. Imagine a tiny seed that grows into a fully formed plant. That's exactly what happens to our embryo. As it grows, it undergoes a series of transformations, and each cell has a specific role to play. These cells work together to form the organs and body systems that make us human. By the time the eighth week rolls around, the embryo has formed into a fetus. This is a critical milestone in the development process. Each organ, from the heart to the lungs, is beginning to take shape. But it's not just about the organs. The body systems too, like the nervous system and the digestive system, are starting to develop. With its organs and body systems in place, our fetus is now ready for the final stages of development. The journey ahead is just as exciting as the fetus continues to grow and mature. In the second trimester, many mothers feel their baby move for the first time, 
But what else is happening during this time? Well, an incredible amount of growth and development is taking place. The fetus is maturing, with organ systems becoming fully functional. The baby's features become more defined, and they might even begin to exhibit behaviors like thumb-sucking or hiccuping. This period, along with the entire pregnancy, is commonly divided into three trimesters. Each trimester is marked by its own unique milestones. The first trimester sees the early development of the fetus, while the second trimester involves a period of rapid growth and the first sensations of movement. Then the third trimester prepares both the mother and baby for the impending birth, with the baby gaining weight and the mother's body adjusting for delivery. As our fetus continues to grow and mature, we approach the final stage of this miraculous journey. The final stage of our journey is upon us. But what does this process entail? The onset of labor is marked by rhythmic uterine contractions. These contractions increase in frequency and intensity, signaling the body that it's time for the baby to make its entrance. The cervix, a gateway between the uterus and the birth canal, dilates to allow the passage of the baby. During the final stages of labor, the baby is delivered, a moment filled with anticipation and joy. The umbilical cord, which served as the baby's lifeline in the womb, is clamped and cut. Following the birth, the placenta, the baby's in-womb support system, is also expelled. This marks the end of labor. After birth, the mother enters the postpartum period, a time of physical recovery and adjustment to caring for the newborn, and so concludes the remarkable journey from fertilization to childbirth, a testament to the miracle of life.